EVS 1, Chapter 19, Constituents of Food Carbohydrates Carbohydrates are of three types, starch, sugars and fiber. Starch Examples Potato, sago and sweet potato contain starch. Cereals like joar, bajra, wheat, rice contain a lot of starch. We obtain flour from these grains. These grains form a staple diet. We get energy from starchy foods. Our body uses this energy for different kinds of work. This energy also keeps the body suitably warm. Sugars Foodstuffs that taste sweet contain different kinds of sugars. For example, we can obtain jaggery and table sugar from sugarcane because it contains a sugar called sucrose. Ripe fruits like mango, banana, chiku as also honey and milk also contain various kinds of sugars. They too give us energy. Fiber When the grain like jowar, wheat is ground into a flour, the particles in the flour are not all alike. When the flour is sifted, we find the larger particles left behind on the sieve. These particles are fine pieces of the skin or bran of the grain. Bran is a fibrous substance. In the process of digestion, fiber has a special function. Fibrous substances help the food to move forward in the alimentary canal at the right speed. The undigested food is of no use to the body. Fiber helps to form stool from this undigested food. Fiber is also called roughage. Fruits and vegetables especially their skins, whole grains and pulses are all sources of fiber in food. If our food does not contain enough fiber, it can lead to constipation. Up to now, we have learnt about three types of substances present in our food. Starch, sugar and fiber. These substances are together called carbohydrate. The most important use of carbohydrates is to provide the body with energy. Fats Oil is a fatty substance. Fats in our food also provide energy to our body. They give twice as much energy as carbohydrates. But we include a smaller quantity of this constituent in our diet. Cream, butter, ghee, oil are examples of fats. Nuts, meat, egg yolk also contain fats. The fats we eat get stored in our body. If food is not available for some time, the body can get energy from the stored fats. There is a layer of fat under our skin. It gives shape to the body and like a blanket also prevents loss of heat from the body. 
the layer of fat in the body protects our internal organs an injury from outside does not at once cause damage to our bones or other internal organs proteins just as stones and bricks are the building blocks needed for a wall proteins are the building blocks of our body the body undergoes wear and tear continuously sometimes it gets injured but the healing and repair of our body goes on all the time without our being aware of it proteins are necessary for that purpose proteins are required in plenty during the growing years of person person's life all the different dals pulses groundnuts milk and milk products like yogurt khoya and paneer eggs meat and fish are rich sources of proteins our body requires carbohydrates fats and proteins in large proportions these food constituents are called macronutrients